today I'm going to try something completely new and I'm going to pull you along with me on the journey as I explore. I'm going to begin my journey to discover whether or not my new iPhone 14 Pro can do photography at a professional level. I don't know where this is going. No matter how many videos out there say that it can, I don't personally know if it can. This is gonna be a journey of exploration. I know it does great video. I've been using iPhone video clips since I began the channel. But what about professional level still photography? Okay, first things first. I never thought I would do this. In fact, I never even thought I would consider it. So why am I doing this? Well, you know the old saying about the best camera? Yeah, it's the one you have with you and I do always have this camera with me. I don't know about you, but when I don't have my mirrorless camera with me, it always seems to be that's the time I see the great shots that I wish I could get. There you go. Okay, the second reason is now the camera shoots in RAW. That really has my attention because whatever deficiencies in the image quality there might be, being able to have a true RAW file really helps me make up for the deficiencies in the back end, or at least that's my thinking as I go into this journey. The third reason is that it now has not only telephoto, normal, but it has macro. Well, I've got a bag of lenses in this one case that I always have with me. So that's kind of a big deal. Okay, now let me clear the air here and make sure everyone understands. No one sent me this phone. This phone was bought with my own money. This video is not sponsored. So we're going to start exploring by doing. I'm going to take a simple task that I needed to do. I needed to shoot a thumbnail for the YouTube channel and I'm going to use the iPhone 14 as closely as possible as I would have my mirrorless camera and let's see where it goes. First a quick overview of the gear I'm going to use to actually uh, do the photography in this video. So first of course is my iPhone 14 Pro. Not going to say a whole lot about that. It's an iPhone 14 Pro. You can Google it, it's just a phone I upgraded to. I will say that you can do a lot of things with other iPhones. You do not have to have a 14 Pro to do anything I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Second, a way to hold the iPhone. It's a bracket I've been having for a little while now. It, it holds the phone. It's got uh, jaws here that are adjustable with a screw. And the mirror is very useful if you're gonna be recording yourself on the good cameras on this side of the phone. Couple of extra hot shoes, always helpful, mics, lights, whatever. This is an adapter plate that mounts on the bottom of the bracket, which will attach it to my Manfrotto tripod. Very steady, definitely overkill for an iPhone, but you can never really be too steady. Since I'm approaching this as closely as possible, the same way I would use my mirrorless, this is how I'm going to set it up to shoot. Okay, here we go. Quick review of our setup. We've got the phone mounted in the bracket we showed you earlier in my standard Manfrotto tripod, which I use for all my work. Nice tripod, very steady. Using a single small rig light set to tungsten. And here is our subject area. Okay, so the very first thing you run into with iPhone photography is that iPhone photography has to be done by eye. And you have to fall back on your traditional photographic principles, especially digital photography principles. You have to expose for the highlights, make sure they're not blown because if you blow the highlights, they're not recoverable even in RAW. The other thing in the native iPhone app is that there is no white balance. So you'll see me using the color checker here for a color reference for the RAW file. Okay, let's just go over the whole process I'm doing for the photography here. We've got the setup, we've got everything where I want it over here. I'm, I'm shooting in RAW, I have my exposure set. I'm, I'm exposing for the highlights, hoping that <laughs> RAW in, in this file format works the same way it does 
with my uh, EOS R uh, files in Lightroom. So I'm going to first take an exposure with the color checker for the Lightroom reference. Now we'll just take a couple of the actual exposures. I'm gonna make sure that our focus point is right there where we want it. Yes, it is. And boom, boom. Okay, we should have a couple of nice raw files now. So let's have a look here at how the shot came out in Lightroom. Not bad, I, I kind of like it. I think it, it did really well. It, it was what I expected. I was able to color correct using the uh, color checker. It's a real raw file. It came out as a DNG file. So, so far so good. I'm really liking that. I've got all my controls that I can manipulate and edit and refine the image in post-production. Great, that's very good to see. What I tried next was the macro mode because I was really excited about the macro capability. I love shooting close-up work. It's one of my favorite kinds of non-portrait photography. So I wanted to see what this could do. All right, now I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. We're still shooting in raw, but we're going in macro mode. That's one of the things that most excited me about getting this camera is that it could shoot macro. I don't know if it's simulating it. I don't know if it can actually focus that close, but I love this shot. It's really close. Let's pop one off like that and we'll see what that looks like in Lightroom too. I really like this shot I got from the setup. I can't tell how much of the macro is done optically and how much is done with software manipulation, but when you zoom it into 100%, you can see a lot of artifacts. So yeah, there's a lot of software things going on to achieve this macro mode. That's not a criticism, that's just an observation. I, I really like what it's doing. I'm not trying to say whether or not this will compare to a mirrorless. That's not what any of this is about. In fact, I, I like the shot enough. It was last week's thumbnail. So this has been a fun beginning to this. I, I think I learned a lot. I, I think I like a lot about what I'm seeing uh, with the, the capabilities of the camera in this phone. What do you think? Is this something you're interested in? It, it, have you gotten something out of this video and do you want to see more? I really appreciate you watching as always. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. Until the next video, cheers.